Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be mainly about showing what Silver Surfer can do in IQ and how did I get on with his fights in section 2 and 3. For section 1 I'm just going to amp up my chorus. I have sped up these fights a bit because there's nothing kind of like too impressive or exciting about watching a typical chorus fight. I have suicides on at the beginning of it. I'm taking them off later on and basically in the next morning because I have to place for alliance or defense and that kind of coincides perfectly with uh, me starting to use Silver Surfer as well. So we're gonna be running Silver Surfer without suicides. Now I did make small slip ups here and there because I wasn't kind of like too focused or bothered because Corvus, you're kind of comfortable playing him in low health pools anyways. And yeah, so we did manage to get actually two missions in the first fight because Black Panther Civil War is obviously an Avenger. Also because of Footloose node, you can be sneaky and go for that evade mission because the, after their special attacks, they are unstoppable and they can evade. Now that we destroyed the Red Skull, uh, that fight's done as well. And only mission that we can kind of still hunt for is the Iceman. Iceman's still linked to like all or nothing and Oscillate and stuff. And I'm just still gonna go in with Corvus regardless because why not? As here you can see, uh, we're still taking uh, the damage from Cold Snow basically, and Willpower is not uh, activating it seems. And that's uh, one of those things that's kind of a bit strange or weird. I'm sure there's some sort of explanation there. We just uh, paused the fight for a bit and came back in afterwards. And yeah, we finished that fight out uh, with one timeout basically. And then uh, we are ready to move on to section two. And now we're going to be kind of like checking out the main point of today's video. Now, I will mess up with Silver Surfer somewhere later down the line. So he, he's going to get KO'd. But first things first, let's just check how he's doing here and now. So basically, the idea kind of is you want to more or less start with a heavy attack relatively soon. I didn't make a slip up here and did eat a five piece combo. Uh, but uh, since this is freezer burn, we're going to be getting a lot of incinerate and or colton debuffs on us and we can heal up Y willpower quite easily. So this is also Silver Surfer with no synergies whatsoever. Uh, so there is no attack boost, no quicker refresh for your cosmic power buff, power cosmic buff. And now basically we have activated uh, two of the unique buffs and then we have to go for the fury one and once that's done we can basically just go and smack some people up now there i noticed that i did have my uh, power gain expire and actually the more you play with silver surfer the more you realize that that power gain buff realistically is there for you to keep letting it expire and refresh it and whenever you reactivate that power gain you will uh, refresh basically your furies and armor ups and I think that is more or less kind of the intended rotation for it because you kind of want to let that power gain buff keep exp expiring and then you're going to have a new unique buff to activate and when you activate a new unique buff all your already existing buffs refresh so for any kind of semi longer finds that has to be your game plan keep your armor ups keep your furies and just refresh the power gain buff as and when needed so now once again we're starting the fight with three armor ups uh, with the power gain as well so that's gonna let us to get to our level one fairly easily now this fight uh the heimdall has strike back node as well so i do have to be careful when and how i launch my special attacks currently i do have the power gain on i do have my fury buffs on and i'm starting to deal some decent damage here i can't complain too much overall the damage output isn't like up to the highest damage dealing champions in the game uh, but it's quite decent it's, it's somewhere up there it's nothing to kind of like snooze on he hits hard enough kind of thing the lack of utilities is more likely to be the problem but i happen how the lanes in aq where he can work and here he does work therefore i figured it would be interesting to showcase him so we finished that fight out at the level two i have to wait till i get unlinked uh, for that yondu fight and then we're gonna head right in there and we're also gonna have class advantage in that fight so that's gonna be quite cool and yeah since it's freezer burn obviously we're pretty much on full health still so that's always quite nice and uh, that kind of works out relatively well and so let's start the fight he is unblockable at the beginning of the fight so i do have to be careful uh, but i don't have to hesitate to basically strike in his block either because that uh Cold snap he plays on me effectively is just helping me uh, so there's uh, no downside of just 
going for some block hits, gaining some distance, and basically. So I do how active a power gain buff, and I'm going for my level one, and that uh, basically gives me two furies, which time it well. So basically, these are kind of like for the shorter burstier fights. This is kind of like my typical standard move, as in so far, anyways. Just start off with a power gain. Uh, then get to level 1 relatively quickly and gain those few reasons. Now, here is a good example of what happens when an opponent doesn't throw uh, his special attack. Your buffs kind of start to expire. Uh, but luckily, I did manage to activate the power gain buff before fury is expired as well and uh, now we can actually go for the level two but the fight is nearly over the level two is pretty much an overkill at this point um, but it got the job done and it's only a minute long so far actually like he's doing quite all right it's nothing over the top impressive but uh it has its uses if you're doing freezer burn lane in aq or if you're doing like incinerate lane in aq and now in section 3, he's going to be facing off against buffed up lane, so he works there as well. Now, uh, the Domago is still linked, and next time I get to check it, uh, he was down already. And I'll be honest, I had a quite busy day at work as well on Friday, so I didn't really manage to check AQ too much. Uh, I could have had a shot at Thanos uh, today as well, but uh, I just really, really didn't have time to do those fights at that time. Uh, either way, now we are in section 3, and this, as we can see, is buffed up lane. So basically, we deal no damage to opponent unless we have at least 3 active buffs. And uh, yeah, so we're going to try and get there as quickly as we can. We basically started the fight again with our power gain buff. We go for our level 1, that gives us 2 furies, which is kind of perfect. So now we have 3 buffs active, we can actually damage the Massacre. And he has still some armor breaks or hitting slightly harder. And our goal is to get to level 2 and then close out the fight, if possible at all. Now I have Power Cosmic active, and I'm going to try and go for that armor buff so that they refresh all my active buffs, which works out perfectly timing-wise. And then I'm just dropping my level 2, which is unblockable, deals a bunch of damage, and Massacre goes down. So that was not too bad of a fight at all either. And we're going to be going up against this Daredevil Netflix. And he is quite an annoying guy. I don't like fighting him much at all. And it's because of the rage node. Because you can't do much damage in a simple go. Also buffed up and him being completely unblockable. It's not that it's hard fight. It's just one of those fights where if you lose concentration, it is going to catch you and <laughs> it's going to... Uh, cost you either some potions or at least a champion uh, so you have to stay focused in these and yeah so again we started the fight uh, with a heavy attack in this case we went for an armor up that lasts longer we drop a level one unfortunately he awaits it obviously because he probably had an uh, enhanced raider sense but either way we have three buffs active at this point and we can actually start dealing some damage to the guy I wasn't in too big of a rush because uh, I was waiting for my power cosmic buff to kind of refresh and that's just going to give me a good chance for an opening as well later on if I choose to. But at this point I do have to refresh my uh, buffs quite soon otherwise they're all going to expire and we do, do just that with our power gain buff now we're dropping level 2. Obviously the damage is capped by the rage node but still because of the regular hits and because of the energy damage that we can deal, it did decent chunk of damage. You can't complain too much overall. Now the idea is uh, how to wait for my power gain to expire. And then I can refresh it again and that refresh rest of my buffs. And here is what I spoke about with uh, earlier. That is kind of like the easiest way to maintain decent um, damage output and decent number of buffs on yourself. If you just kind of like keep refreshing that uh, power gain buff. And uh, yeah, we just based it out with that phasing uh, special attack from Daredevil and that let us finish the fight. Now I will do make, uh, will make a mistake now against this Iron Fist. Uh, it's nothing kind of like the fight is hard or something like that. I'm just gonna get distracted in the fight and he's gonna catch me twice while I'm dashing back. And that's basically gonna be it for it. Uh, yeah, other than that, obviously this fight isn't too tricky. He's unblockable at start, but kind of who cares? We start off with an armor buff because why not kind of and now we're just waiting for that power cosmic buff to refresh, baiting out special attack from that guy. Need to drop my level 1 at this point to gain the furies, uh, which we do. So everything's kind of starting out pretty much perfect. And we have 3 buffs, we can do damage, everything's alright. I can now wait for my power cosmic to activate again and to go for that power gain buff. And then we would be kind of bowling. 
and here I did activate it. He threw a special attack, but obviously since we're phasing, it didn't affect us too much at all. Kind of just need to drop my level 2 and the fight would be pretty much over. But fortunately, I get clipped here. I drop my level 2 now. He's at like 6% and he catch me again on dashback. That was just me being like super careless and playing badly. Nothing bad uh, in this case goes to the uh, Silver Surfer. And I'll just quickly finish off the next fight with Corvus. And nothing kind of special to see there. We don't have much uh, life. We are at one percent, but uh, it's Corvus, so we can uh, work it out. One hit, uh, finish this fight off, and the next fight is gonna be against Loki, I think it is. Yeah, and there's nothing kind of like too difficult in this fight either. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, how did uh, it appear from the case of Silver Surfer? Uh, have you tried him out yourselves yet? If you ma how managed to get him? Are you disappointed? Are you camp Lemon Surfer or are you camp Silver Surfer? Because uh, yeah, uh, definitely a lot of kind of mixed reactions to the champion. Largely, I do have to say that they are negative. I haven't seen anything overly impressive. Uh, he's definitely not a horrible champion. There are some things he can do. The problem is that the expectations were so much higher uh, than they actually deliver than the actual delivery of the champion. But either way, that'll pretty much do uh, for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys want to see some more Solar Surfer gameplay because some more of it is coming. Uh, but either way, if you like the video, hit that like, hit that sub. See ya.